Ayan, Ayan punta na natin yung gospel. Nakita na natin, brothers and sisters, kung paano po kabigat ang inihingi ng investigative judgment sa believers. Nakita rin po natin na talagang yung mga claims na yan white about perfect holiness ay uh, salungat sa itinuturo ng Biblia at ng Ibanghelyo. The only way to heaven is the gospel. No other way. Kaya nga sabi ni Panginoong Isa Christo, I am the way, the truth, 14.6. Oh. oh yeah, 14.6. No other way. I am the way. Siya lang. Hindi, I am one of the ways. Ah. I am the way. He's the only way. We have to realize, brothers and sisters, according to the Romans 3.23, that for all have sinned and fall mm-hmm. short of the glory of God. Wala po talagang makakatupad ng buong kautusan para maging perfect tayo sa paningin ng Ama. Diba? Yung law of God is, a, is the reflection of the, of the righteousness of God. The picture Tama. of the righteousness of God. And for us to be admitted to heaven, we must attain that righteousness. Mm-hmm. And yet, ang ipinaliliwan, especially in the first chapter and second chapter of the book of Romans, that all fall short, all have sinned, all fall short in the glory of God. Now, once we realize this, brothers, and we also realize the penalty of our transgression, which is death, and sabi mo at second death, brother, according to the Romans 3.23, for the wages of sin is death, we will realize that lahat tayo talagang sa impyerno ang punta natin. Lahat ng tao, walang exemption. This is the truth. No one can attain perfect holiness. If you just believe in the gospel. That is why there is plan of salvation, plan of redemption that God devised. And that is through Jesus Christ. And ang sabi dito sa Romans 10.19, If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. This is, all we have to do is believe, put our faith in, in Jesus Christ dahil siya lang po ang makakatupad, nakatupad ng buong kautusan at uh, sa pagtupad din ng Panginoon sa Kristo na yun na-achieve niya yung righteousness uh, na requirement ng Father that righteousness will be imputed to us by believing in Him only imputed righteousness of Christ will, will save us from hell Yan po ang Ibanghelyo, mga kapatid. Trust Christ alone as your Savior. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. This is gift. Sabi nga ni Desmond Ford, this is a never-ending donation. No? This Tama. is lifetime donation. This is free gift. All you have to do is believe. So, ano ba mas gusto niyo po? Gusto niyo po ba yung doon pa kayo sa lumang kautusan sa Ten Commandments or dito na lang po kayo kay Kristo? Ano po ba? Ano po ba mas magaang? Pinapagaang na nga ng Panginoon para sa atin. Pinatagyan pa ba natin? Sabi pa dito po oh, sa Romans 10.13 For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So oh, it's only Christ. Eh. Mm-hmm. Does God needs to investigate? Brother, ikaw, what, what can you... Eh, ang nag-iimbestiga lang yung mayroong limit, limited knowledge, brother. Eh. Kagaya natin, kailangan natin mag-imbestiga. Inimbestiga na natin, investigative judgment. Kasi gusto natin malaman pa, pero on just no need to investigate. No need. At saka sabi hmm. dito kasi malinaw eh, the Lord knows who, so who are His. Is. Oh. Second thing, Kilala niya. 19. Oo, Kilala niya kung am... sino yung para sa Kanya. Amen. At sabi niya, oh, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep, my sheep, John 10, 14. Meron okay. silang palusot dyan eh. Hmm. Ang palusot dati dyan. Pati ako, eh, pati dun sa kanilang fundamental belief, nakalagay dun sa fundamental belief, 
uh, hindi na kailangan ng Diyos mag-imbestiga, alam niya yan, kaya lang, ginagawa niya mag-imbestiga para sa mga heavenly intelligences at mga witness ng mga anghel. <laughs> <laughs> kailangan daw ng malaman pa ng mga anghel tsaka yung tinatawag na intelligences ito yung mga ibang ibang uri ng tao sa iba-ibang planeta na hindi pa natin nakikita mga malaking tao dito na hindi nahawa sa pagkakasala which is not in the Bible nasa pangitan lang ni Ellen White Kaya, kailan, kailangan daw investigin para maging fair daw ang Diyos na makita hmm. ng mga heavenly intelligences Siguro kasama na din mga demonyo, sila satanas, para rin sa kanila investigative judgment. Pero, si tingin mo, kailangan pa ba gawin ng Diyos yun? Di ba siya naman ang hahatol? Oo nga, at saka God, God is omniscient eh. Omniscient? So, for, him, for him, for us to think that God needs to investigate, is the grading God to a mere man. Kaya nga. Di ba? Kaya nga yung sinasabi nila na kaya daw pinap, uh, hindi na kailangan ng Diyos, ginagawa niya ito para ma, ma, ma-vindicate daw yung kanyang pagiging righteous sa harap ng mga intelligences at mga angels. Which I think is not enough. Wala sa Bible, Wala sa Bible yun eh. Hindi niya kailangan patunayan yung ganun. Oh, Kasi no, no, no. They, should, they should trust Him. They worship God for eternity. They know God that He is perfect and He is righteous. Walang pagdaraya sa Kanya. Oh. He is a sovereign God. Sovereign he God? He doesn't need to prove yeah. to anybody. Correct. <laughs> he proven. Napaka, oh. Napakahirap, napakamali namang doktrina yan, mga kapatid. <laughs> Sabi pa, no? Sa Ephesians 1.4. 1, in fact, He knows them in advance. Eh. Ito nakasulat eh. No? He chose us in Him. Four, he chose us in Him before the creation of the world. Yan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To be holy and blameless in His sight. Hindi, because we are holy and blameless. Ha? Sa Adventist kasi, He chose us in Him eh, before the creation of the world because we are because holy and blameless. Sa Adventist, ganun. As if, as if the product of our own effort. Oh, pero ito, He chose us in Him before the creation of the world to be para maging banal at blameless. Sa Adventist na binasa mo kanina kay Ellen White, kailangan maging blind na sila para piliin sila. Di ba ang laki ng pagkakaiba? Okay, because this passage tells us that it is God who oh. will make us holy and blameless Amen. in Amen. Our righteousness is foreign. Foreign Amen. from us. It's in, the, in, it's in heaven. It's in Christ. Hawak ni Christ to oh. Yan po yun. Romans 3.29.3 30 For those who for you, for, sorry, for those God for you, for you. also predestined to be conformed in the image of His Son, yeah. and that He might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And for those He predestined, He also called. Those He called, He also justified. Those He justified, He also He also glorified. Predestination. We Mm-mm. those who are His. He predestined them. Before Yung pinili niya. Pinili niya. Uh-oh. Why? Because God can do that. God is so Na- He can Nakita choose. niya eh. Nakita yes. niya before the creation of world eh. Di ba? Yes. Kasi nga, she, He is an omniscient God. So, bakit pa kailangan mag-imbestiga? Ano ba? Kung pala siyang Panginoon. Before. Pumili na siya eh. Nakapili na siya kung sino eh. Oh. Yes. Eh, nakapili na pala, ba't pa mag-iimbestiga? Kasi, iba, kaya nag-iimbestiga para makapili, di ba? Uh, makapili, para mapatunayan. Uh, oh, pero ito, pinili na ng Diyos bago pang creation to world, eh. Yan na nga. So, At, hindi, uh, hindi this, niya kayo mag This passage is really frustrates the investigative. Yeah. Correct. This is the testimony from the Word of God. Mm-hmm. But God commended His love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified as tense by His blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through Him. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled past tense, past tense to God by the death of His Son. You. Much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by His life. And mm-hmm. not only so, but we also joy in God 
through our Lord Jesus Christ by whom we have now received the abundance. Natanggap na. Natanggap na. Wala Past na tense. Po, wala na may escape goat. Wala <laughs> We now receive the atonement. Isang atonement lang po yan. Ha, habang sinusulat ni Pablo yan, na-receive na nila nung time na yon ang atonement. Yes. Kahit wala okay. pang, at, wala pang escape to the Satan, tapos na noon pa. Tapos na dun sa cross resurrection. Ascension. Ito mga Adventists, maghihantay pa na after 1,000 years, tsaka matatapos ang atonement nila. Kaya nga, pinaghihiwalay pa nila yung dalawang, may dalawang atonement pa sila. Wala naman ganun tinuturo ang Biblia eh. That's unbiblical, yeah. That's unbiblical. At ano pa mga prepa, hindi na natin papasahin itong mga passages. Oo. Oh. Nilagay ko na lang. Just mm. to show, brothers and sisters, you should not doubt that you, your sins, our sins are atoned when we repent and believe. Amen. In the finished course of Jesus. Ang hawakan po natin ito, mga kapatid, kung may nagtuturo po sa inyo na hindi pa tapos ang atonement, Huwag niyo pong paniwalaan ito. Maling Kundi, ano, let them be a curse, anatoma, itakwin niyo. Apo, tama. Itakwin niyo. Let them be a curse, condemn to them. Are believers to be judged in the judgment day? Yan. Yeah. Nandun pa nun pa. Yeah. Ano sabi sa John 5.24? 5.24? Very truly, I tell you, whoever holds my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be judged. But, has crossed over from death to life. Lagi na natin ito pinaulit-ulit, brother. <laughs> Pero bigyan natin ng ibang twist. Sige. Kung totoo yung investigative judgment, ibig sabihin, nagsisinungaling ang Panginoon Iso Christ. Ganon. Oo. Sino ang panginiwalaan nyo? Si Ellen White o ito ang Panginoon Iso Christ? Oo. Ano pa sabi sa Romans 8.1? No condemnation for those who are in Christ. Ano pang ibang mm-hmm. gusto niyo ilapat mga kahulugan nito? <laughs> Tama. Huwag matigas ang ulong. Eh. Opo, huwag matigas ang ulong mga Seventh-day Adventists. Mm-hmm. Tanggapin po natin ang itinuturo ng Biblia. Amen. Huwag na po natin bigyan ng kung ano-anong narration. Oo oh, nga. Anong red herrings. Tanggapin Alam mo, isa, isang magandang na basa ko dito sa Bible, itong sinabi ni Jesus, nung ako'y Adventist pa, Dito rin ako talagang na-move, no? Na talagang mag-doubt sa teachings ng Adventists. Kasi si Jesus na nagsabi, sino mang nakikinig ng aking salita at sumampalatay sa kanya na nagsugo sa akin, ay meron ng buhay na walang hanggan. Has eternal life. Sabi ko, ang turo sa amin ng Adventists ay magkakaroon pa lang eternal life pag sa second coming. Second coming pa eh. Pero ito, present eh. Kung sino mang sumampalataya at makinig sa salita ni Kristo, May eternal life na. Kaya naniwala ako na ngayon pa lang, tayo mga Christians, meron tayong eternal life. Dahil sa ating pagsamataya kay Kristo. Kaya nga sabi ni Kristo, kahit na tayo mamatay, buhay pa rin tayo. Yes. Ito maganda. Will not be judged, but cross over from death to life. Pag tinanggap mo si Kristo bilang yung Panginoon Tagapagdiktas, nakatawid ka na mula kamatayan, tungo sa buhay ka nga may eternal life ka na ngayon eh. Buhay, sa mga Adventist kasi, Ang awak, awak, na, na awak, awak, awak na natin. Awak na natin yan. Ang mga Adventimala, eternal life, sa future pa. Future pag second kami. Hindi po ganun ang gospel. No? Hindi ganun ang gospel. Ino-offer ng Jesus ngayon ang eternal life habang nanonood ka ngayon dito sa aming podcast. At this moment, if, if yes. there's seven-day Adventists out there na nanonood ngayon hmm. ng life, Yes. When you repent at this moment and believe and profess your belief, uh, your faith in Jesus Christ, you are saved. Hindi ka na i-judge. Paniwalaan no niyo na. Paniwalaan niyo po yan, mga kapatid. Amen. Paniwalaan niyo po. Yan po ang pangako ng Panganoong Isa Christo. Sa John 3.18, sabi niya, no? whoever believes, believes in Him is not from them. So, si yeah. Si Panginoong Isa Christo pa rin na lang sabi niya. Si Wala Papa na. pa rin din. Who then is the one who condemns? No one. Mm-mm. Wala nang magkukondem sa'yo kasi binayaran na ni Cristo eh. Tama. Tapos Wala na eh. Na. Tapos Reconciled na. Reconciled ka na eh. Reconciled ka na eh. Yung, yung, yung dapat na penalty na dapat na isa iyo, sinanap na hinong iso Cristo. Amen. At yung righteousness niya na siya lang ang meron, ibinigay niya naman sa'yo. Yeah. It is a very, very great exchange. 
Amen. In the, in the gospel that will make your heart, you know, praise Jump. God, praise God, jump <laughs> out of joy. <laughs> ano yung kita, brother, when you were in Adventism, nagkaroon, nagkaroon ko ba na experience sa simbahan na ito? You feel the joy of the gospel? You feel the overwhelming joy? Wala akong Hindi. ganun experience eh. Hindi eh. When I was in, in Seventh-day Adventist, na Adventism, wala akong talagang ganun. Wala. I'm not telling a lie, that's the truth. Pero nung first time na nagsimba ko, narinig ko yung iba talaga, my heart is really Amen. crying in joy. Noon siguro, <laughs> natutuwa ako kasi Sabado, araw ng Sabat. <laughs> Kaya happy Sabat, happy Sabat lang. Ito lang, very shallow, ano? Pero okay, yung joy yun, sa loob, happy lang yon happy. Iba kasi ang happiness and joy, eh. Ang joy mararamdam sa puso, eh. Yung joy ang ino-offer sa atin ng gospel. Hindi matatawaran ito. Kung ang Panginoon, kung ang ating Ama, sinasabi na during the Old Testament times, that for I will forgive their wickedness and I will remember their sins no more. Yun. Para si, He remove our transgression from us. If these statements are not true, I, I mean, if this statement is true, Paano niyo nasasabi na hindi kayo i-block ng Panginoong Heso Kristo ang ating mga kasalanan? Sa, sa kanila, pinaghiwalay pa yung forgiveness oh. at blackness ng 1,000 years. Correct. Actually, 2,000 years na. 2,000 eh, years na. From the time oh. of Christ. Di ba? Kaya wala yung forgiveness. Pero dito, maliwanag ha. Forgiveness, I will forgive their weakness and will Amen. remember their sins Amen. no more. Ibig sabihin, blotted na. Sa doctrine ng investigative judgment, I will forgive their sins and wickedness and will still remember their sins until 1844. Pambira. Ganun lang nangyayari yan. Di ba? That's King of Paul's Gospel. Tapos maganda to kasi talagang blotted out eh. Ang word na ginamit is blotted. I have blotted out as a thick cloud. Thy transgressions and as a cloud thy sins. Return unto me for I have redeemed you. Uh-uh. If God can blot out sins during the Old Testament times, how much What more of Christ, the oh, second person in the Trinity, Amen. can blot Amen. out our sins? Amen. So realize this, brothers and sisters, Christ can blot out our sins. In fact, He already blot out our sins. Oh, oh. Ito yung Psalms 51, prayer ni David to eh. After niya after niya magkasala kay Bathsheba, di ba? Uh-huh. Ng adultery at pinatay niya yung asawa ni Bathsheba. Humingi siya ng tawad, Lord, ha? Patawarin mo ako. Blot out my transgressions. So, hindi sinabi ng Panginoon, David, pinatawad na kita. Pero you have to wait until 1844 bago ko totally mablock. Ano yeah, 'yan? Ilista ko muna ito. <laughs> oh, di ba? Wala, that is <laughs> Oh, nasa ulo lang ng Eden White yan. Sa kanila, yung priestly ministry daw ng Panginoong Iso Cristo sa, sa langit, yun daw yung ginagawa niya kasing atonement. Kasi nga, yung uh, high priest sa uh, uh, early sanctuary is making atonement to the... Yeah. Once a year lang yan. Uh, that's wrong. Mm-hmm. You know why it's just, you know why it is wrong? Mm-hmm. Yung kung type na yun, hindi naman... Ibig sabihin na gano'n din ang mangyayari sa langit eh. That is opposite direction. You Tama. are you are projecting what's happening on earth to heaven. Tama. That is wrong. That is reverse. Because what is happening on earth? What is the type typified by the Day of Atonement rites in Leviticus? I just shadows, picture of the Kaya, great things to come which is in Christ. Kaya nga sabi sa Book of Hebrews, Si, oh, si Christ nag-offer ng kanyang body once and for oh, all. Not to huh? be repeated. Not to be repeated every year. As like oh, oh. the high priest in the earthly sanctuary. Once and for all na yun eh. Ba't kailangan pang atonement eh kailangan mag-antay pa hanggang eight, ng 1844. So nung okay. nagawa niya ang atonement sa cross nung namatay siya, yun yung efekto, efekto nun, benefits nun from the first century hanggang ngayon. Dire-diretso yes. na. Yun ang work ng Day of Atonement, yung sa cross, wala sa cross, until oh, eternity. That's right, brother. Kaya yung priestly ministry of Christ in heaven, mga kapatid, it is not about continuation of any atoning work. Yan. Wala na pong ganun. Ano? 
recording of scenes of believers in the heavenly sanctuary, wala po. Mm-hmm. Wala po recording of scenes doon na magde-defile ng heavenly sanctuary. Mm-hmm. Hindi po ganun. Hindi po ito about ministering on the first apartment like the daily priest mm-hmm. of his ascension to October 22, 1844. Mm-hmm. He is high priest. In fact, Tama. high priest in the order of Melchizedek. Wow. Tapos i- i- ibabalik po siya into a normal priest. Kaya nga nagtataka ako, napansin mo ba Brother Erwin, sa illustration nila kay Christ sa Heavenly Sanctuary, ang uniform niya ay aaronic priesthood. Oh, <laughs> Pero pang oh, urim and tomim, hindi naman ganun sa ni Melchizedek, oh, di ba? <laughs> eh, lahat na lang na nakikita sa earth, kailangan makita rin sa langit. Mali, oh. mga kapatid. Oh. Hindi po kanyan. Doing an investigative judgment work against believers, Wala na uh-huh. investigative judgment na nangyayari ngayon. Nakaupo na po ang Panginoong Iso Cristo. Matayin uh-huh. niyo po ang New Testament. Ang dami po niyan. He is sitting down in the right hand of the throne of God. Yan. Yeah. Cleansing of the heavenly sanctuary from defilement of sins. Again, wala pong uh, record of sins doon. Mga kapatid. Placing of sins to Satan before the second advent of God. Hindi ito. Sins are already blotted out on the cross. Yan. Yeah. That is the gospel. Hindi na po ilalagay din sa tanas. Paniwalaan niyo po, 1 Peter 2.24 is about opening the way to the Father for our salvation. It is opening the way. You see, brother, during the old Leviticus times, hindi pwede pumasok sa most holy place ang kahit sino lang. Oo. Oh. Pero nung namatay ang Panginoon sa Kristo, tayo maka, parang hinati na yung, yung tabing na yun eh. Uh-huh. Mahati na yun. And now we can approach the throne of God. Throne. Nung namatay siya, bukas na yung tabing, eh. open the way. Symbolizing that the way to the most holy place, representing okay. the heaven itself, is open, open for access. Open for access na. Sa kanya, at sa Adventist 1844 pa mag-open. Yes. Hebrew 9.8, sabi dito, The Holy Spirit was showing by this, that the way into the most holy place had not yet been disclosed, as long as the first tabernacle was functioning. In Hebrews 6, 19-20, we have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. It enters the inner sanctuary behind the curtain, where our forerunner, Jesus Christ, has entered on our behalf. He has become high priest forever in the order of the So, you see, binuksan ng mm-hmm. Panginoong Isokristo, mm-hmm. binuksan ni ang Panginoong ang daan, papunta sa Ama. Sabi sa Hebrews 10, 1920. Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus Christ, by the new and living way open for us through the curtain that is His body. New, new and, and living, living way. way. This high priest ministry of Christ in heaven opened the new and living way for us to the Father. Now we can confidently approach the throne of God, which was not available for us, for the ordinary people during the Jewish sanctification. Sabi nga sa Hebrew 4, 6, Let us then approach through the throne, God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time. Amen. Christ is now encouraging us Amen. to approach the throne of grace. This is the ministry of God in heaven. Ito ang significance ng priestly ministry ng Panginoon sa Christo. Not investigating. Brothers and sisters, this is our salvation now being opened for us. Open. Binuksan. Tapos na. Amen. Amen.